Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover comparing fractions with the same numerator using number lines. Let's jump into number one, where we have one eighth and one half. So reading this from left to right, we have one eighth is greater than, less than, or equal to one half. So which fraction is greater? Well, if we have fractions with the same numerator, all we have to do is compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Now here, we're going to use number lines to help us visualize this. So we have two number lines down below. One number line is showing eighths, and the other number line is showing halves. So one of the number lines is showing one whole, so between zero and one, and that's divided into eight equal parts. And then the other number line is showing one whole, so between zero and one, and that whole is divided into two equal parts. Let's start by marking one eighth on this number line right here. One eighth is right here. Now let's mark one half on this number line. One half is right here. Which fraction is greater? Which fraction is further to the right on a number line? Well, we can see that one half is greater. Even though we have the same numerator of one, one half is greater. And that's because of the denominators. Basically, when we have the same numerator, we can compare the fractions by looking at the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. That's because the larger a denominator is, the more parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are smaller. The smaller a denominator is, the fewer parts a whole is divided into. Therefore, the parts are bigger. So again, if we have fractions with the same numerator, the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. Those equal parts of the whole are bigger. So we have more of the whole, a greater portion of the whole. Now remember, the comparison symbol always opens up towards whatever is greater. So our symbol goes like this, and we can read this comparison from left to right as one eighth is less than one half. Let's move on to number two, where we have three fourths and three sixths. So three fourths is greater than less than or equal to three sixths. We have the same numerator here, three. So we can just compare the denominators. We have three parts out of four and three parts out of six. So one of the holes has been divided into four equal parts and the other has been divided into six equal parts. The hole divided into four equal parts will have bigger parts than the whole divided into six. So three fourths is greater. Three fourths represents more of the whole. It will be further right on a number line. Let's show that with these number lines. We'll mark three fourths on this number line. Three fourths is right here. We'll mark three sixths on this number line. Three sixths is right here. We can see that three fourths is greater. Three fourths is further right on a number line. So our comparison symbol goes like this, and we can read this comparison from left to right as three fourths is greater than three sixths. So there you have it. There's how to compare fractions with the same numerator using number lines. Just remember, if fractions have the same numerator, compare the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is greater. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.